Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be transferring pictures, videos from your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch directly to your Mac. So, the first thing we need to do is open up our Photos app. So that's down here below. If you don't see it, don't worry. Go on the top right hand side of your screen, you will see this, your Spotlight Search. So I'm just going to click right there. And from your Spotlight Search, just type up Photos. You should be getting the first option, just open it up. As soon as you open that, you might see something like this, which is your library. Now. That's on the top left hand side of my screen. I'm going to see all these options and you should see somewhere that says devices. If you don't, that just means you have to plug in your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch to your Mac right now. So just use that cable and plug it in. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to plug it in. I'm just going to slide up so I know it's awake. And I can see devices down here below and it says tech and design. That's the name of my iPhone at the moment. So at this point I should see all the pictures and videos in my iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch. And right now is the time to import them. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the ones that I want to import or I could just select them all. If you would like to select them all, you will see on the top right hand side of your screen, it does say import all new items. However, I also wanna highlight that underneath import all new items, we have this, delete items after import. I suggest doing that so they just get deleted from your iPhone or iPad. If you don't want them to get deleted from your device after they have been imported to your Mac, do not click right here. However, I do, so I'm just gonna click right there. And right now I'm just gonna zoom in down here below because I wanna show you each one of the videos that I want to import. And this is the same thing for pictures. What I can do is select a few. So I can select this one and just import that one. However, most of you will want to do a few. So just hold Command. So that's the command key on your keyboard. And then just click on another one, another one, and keep tagging whichever pictures or videos you guys would like to import. So at this point, I'm just gonna select a few others. I'm gonna select this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now once I have selected whatever I want, again, on the top right hand side of my screen, I will see import selected. So that's right at the top right hand side. I'm gonna see import 10 selected. That's because I selected 10 of them. And if it's 20, 30, it's going to tell me that number. Anyways, I'm going to click right there. Once I click there, you will see this. It's just going to bring you right here into imports. And if it didn't for any reason, again, on the left hand side, I will see on the recents, just go right into imports and you're going to see everything that you imported. Usually this doesn't take too long, but just let it be. And you will have an indicator up here. If they're taking very long, you will see a symbol here that's working away. So at this point, I've noticed that they all imported. So I can scroll down and take a look at all of them. Yeah, here they are. So what I'm going to do is just export them out. At this point, you don't have to export them out. You have them already in your photos library. You guys could keep everything there. For me personally, I like to organize things myself and not keep them in photos library because if anything happens to your photos library, you might lose those files, right? So. What I suggest doing is just keeping these pictures or videos somewhere else organized. At this point, we're pretty much done with this video. However, if you guys want to export these out at full resolution with no changes on them, then you guys can select them all. So I'm just gonna click here. I'm gonna drag away to select them all. That's just one way. Or I could just click on one, then press shift, for example, press on another one, or I can press command key and then just keep clicking and selecting all of them. So those are just a few ways. Or press Command A, which will select everything right here. From there, I'm just gonna go on the top left-hand side. I'm gonna go right into File. Then I'm gonna go into Export and just export this way. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. So again, that's on the top left-hand side of my screen. I'm gonna see File, Export. I'm gonna do them, unmodify them, because I do not want them to change. I want all the information to be there, to be as originals. So I'm gonna go ahead and export them. You will see this message at this point. So I'm going to just export them. You will ask me where I would like to export them. So just choose whichever folder makes sense to you or make a new one inside that folder. So if I want them in public, I can go ahead and put new folder. So once you guys have selected where they need to go on the bottom right hand side, you will see export originals. When you export them back in the day, they would take a long time to export. Now they actually go really fast. So Mac has improved so much with the Photos app. Anyways, my pictures, I know they exported to my desktop because that's what I selected afterwards. So I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. And here it is, here's the folder that I made. 
It's gonna open it up and here are the pictures and videos. So as you can see, they're all good. They're all original formats and I'm good to go. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.